How do you get ready for infantry basic training, whether that be United States Army or United States Marine Corps, or even Canadian or British or wherever you're listening to this from? Here's what I would recommend. To be ready is to be physically ready. Don't go to the gym and start lifting, you know, huge amounts of weight and squatting and curling and deadlifting and bench pressing and all of that. That's not going to do you any favors. It's not really the kind of strength you're going to need. You're going to need endurance and more, more importantly, you're going to need durability. You're going to need to be able to do large amounts of push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, bodyweight squats, and running distance, and more importantly, walking long distances, carrying a lot of stuff. So the number one way I would say to get ready for the push-ups and the calisthenic type exercises is start today and do one of each. So do one push-up, one squat, one sit-up, and one pull-up. And don't do anything else today. Tomorrow, go back and do two, except on the pull-ups. Just do one of those. Or if you can't do a full pull-up, do a reverse negative weight pull-up where you start out with your chin up over the bar and then you slowly lower yourself down to full extension. None of this hovering here stuff. You need to get all the way out, elbows locked, all the way up, chin over the bar. You can do the first week, just do one pull-up, but increase one per day on the other. So, you know, day, day five of push-ups, sit-ups, and squats, you're going to do five of them, but you're still going to do one pull-up. At the beginning of next week, say if you're starting on Monday, do two pull-ups or two reverse pull-ups or whatever, um, and then just keep going with the program of the push-ups and sit-ups and squats and all of that. By day 100, you should be able to do 100 push-ups. Uh, even if you can't do them all at once, you'll still be able to do quite a few if you just add one per day. With the pull-ups, eventually you'll get to where you can do a full one, and then just add one more pull-up per week if you can do that. If you can't, just keep going with what you can do and work your way up strength. You will grow stronger, you will get leaner, it will get easier. The next thing you need to do is start running. Again, don't run very far, uh, don't run very fast, it's not a race, not yet. Um, if you're not used to running, start now. Get yourself some good running shoes, some good socks, and run around the block, maybe a quarter mile. Uh, if you've got a high school track, easy way to know a quarter mile is run around once around the track, and that's it. Do that once every other day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, jog around the track uh, once. Next week, jog around twice. The week after, three times. The week after, four times. And you've got a mile. Uh, your goal is two miles minimum. So, you know, by eight weeks, you should be able to run two miles steady without stopping. Um, and that's such a goal. And then from there, you want to up that time. So start running it a little bit faster. Start running, you know, one quarter mile and walking a quarter mile. Uh, or sprinting a quarter mile and jogging a quarter mile. Or whatever. And, and start increasing that way. Another thing you need to do, and I say this is the most important. It was the one I was least prepared for when I went to basic training. Is if you drive a car, stop driving. Don't drive anywhere that's less than 10 miles away from where you live right now. So if you go to the store or you go to school or work or your girlfriend's house or wherever you're going, start walking now. Get yourself some boots of some sort. They can be hiking boots, they can be high techs, they can be uh, you know, military type boots. Whatever kind of boots you, you find comfortable, put them on and walk everywhere. And get yourself a backpack again. You can get a military backpack or just a regular old Jan Sport, whatever. And everything you need for the day, put it in your backpack and carry that shit with you. This is how the army works. You will carry your life on your back as a light infantryman. So that means your food for the day, your water for the day, your writing and reading utensils, your iPad, your laptop, um, you know, anything you think you're going to need, first aid kit, you know, tennis ball, whatever have that in your backpack and carry that everywhere you go and make this a habit. If you go to the grocery store, take your backpack. It can be empty when you leave the house, but you better bring a bag full of groceries and anything you can carry is what you're going to get. Um, in the army, they're going to have you put on your backpack and you will carry, you know, your extra clothes, <laughs> your water, your food, your ammunition, your night vision goggles, everything heavy is carried with you all the time. Get used to it now. The other thing is, you can be as gung-ho as you want about this. You can do it, you know, in tennis shoes, shorts, and a t-shirt, but when you start doing this in the army, you're going to be wearing long pants, 
Uh, you're going to be wearing boots, you're going to be wearing gloves, you're going to be wearing you know, a t-shirt and a shirt over that, you're going to wear a hat of some sort, probably a helmet. Uh, you're going to get hot and you need to be used to that. Uh, drink lots and lots and lots of water. Carry bo bottles of water with you in your backpack, in your pockets, wherever you can carry your water. Because for one thing, it's heavy and it's going to help condition you. The other thing is you're going to need it as you're walking and whenever you get to where you're going. And you're going to sweat a lot. Get used to it. Um, this is the number one thing I would say you have to have to have to do is walk everywhere. And I don't care if it's 90 degrees outside. I don't care if it's 105 degrees outside. I don't care if it's 40 degrees outside or 10 degrees outside and pouring ass rain. You need to walk. You're not going to feel like it. You're not going to want to. But when you get to the army, they're going to make you anyway. Uh, they're going to say, okay, we're going to such and such and such and such down the road. The only problem is that's four miles away, which is going to be an eight mile round trip. You're going to be carrying your water and you're going to be walking both directions and it's going to suck and you're going to have to do it. And if you sign up like I did for a four year tour, that's four long years. You know, I wasn't ready at first, but after I got used to it, I just kind of accepted that that was the way it was. And I still walk a lot of places now and I'm, I'm 44, so I've put on some years and I still do it. So start doing it now. If you're young and healthy, get to it. Um, that's it. Good luck.